so in previous video we have uh, thought that how can these uh, endpoints are appended by the endpoints that are already been defined so we have to look at where these endpoints are already been defined so before looking at that let us go for uh, the main repository and let's look at how dagger works here so for dagger uh, for this uh, constructor main repository we are not calling anywhere so where this constructor is called the constructor has been called by the dagger so let me show you the little bit part of the dagger that calls this constructor and provide the instances of movie api services and more info api services since we are not uh, providing any uh, here so we are just adding the references so uh, let's look at the uh, main activity module i think yeah main activity module so inside of main activity module there is a method that we have declared uh, at uh, with that provide annotations so it will provide the um, instance of main activity repository so main activity repository and it will call the constructor of main repository so there is a constructor where uh, we are calling uh, we are passing the instance of movie api service and more info api services so you might have thought of the where from from where these in instances are uh, being uh, provided so this is the uh, where the tagger comes into picture taggers just search for other modules where the instances of the movie api services are available so the instances of these two uh, movie api service and modern api services not available in the, inside of this module so it will search for other modules and let me show you the uh, api module for info yeah so here <laughs> it maps the return type uh, with the return types so this returns the movie api service so it will just call the provide api service method from here okay so the provide api service method call the provide retrofit method and this provide retrofit method been called from here and it requires an instance of ok HTTP client that's been called by uh, this method and return an ok HTTP client so this is all how daggers works and there is uh, <laughs> the part we have already set the base URL so we are already have set the base URL in here and whenever we are calling these methods like the uh, sorry this uh, and we are calling the end endpoints that it's these endpoints are just being appended to the already defined here so for example the movie api service the api for uh, okay model for name will be called and uh, from here it will just append the top rated in okay, uh, append the top rated after this base url okay so this is how the dagger works inside of dagger we have already defined that how it has to provide the instances and uh, since uh, the through the process of providing the instance we have already said how what the base url is and what api keys are so inside of our main uh, repository we just need to reference the instances okay fine we have already created the list of uh, countries and results so instead of country there uh, instead of the instance of the list of the strings of countries we will be storing the countries of for the movies and there will be results where we'll be storing the name of the movies right so after the instances has been provided by tagger we have some method that we have implemented and since we are uh, implementing the interface main activity repository we have to override all these methods so this is uh, these are different method that's not being uh, overridden and it's not the part of interface we have uh, created for ourselves to check out that if the result is updated or not and there's another uh, other method that get results from memory that's part of the interface that main active main active repository here so there are six methods and we have implemented all of that let's start from the get results from memory so inside of here we check that if the our data is being updated then it will result returns the result that has been stored already and if not then we will empty the observable right let's look at the other code from the next video